Once again, I am Mam C, your grade 7 English teacher, and welcome to our English Learning Hub. How have you been? Two more weeks and we can do the school year 2020 to 2021. Isn't it exciting? But wait, let's first talk about few more activities you need to accomplish. Welcome to quarter 4 of week 7. Celebrating cultural ties through literature. For the most essential learning competency from MELP 28, discover through Philippine literature the need to work cooperatively and responsibly in today's global village. For our preliminary activity, unlock the focus of this lesson using the icon guides below. In the box, write the letter that corresponds to each icon. To be able to unlock the focus of our lesson, Get the letters that correspond to each symbols below. Once you discover the word, fill in the blanks to complete the paragraph. Philippine blank is an evidence of our cultural history and development. It reflects our shared values and a tangible proof of Filipino excellence and creativity. A Filipino society that values and preserves its cultural blank instills pride of place and strengthens Philippine national identity. Understanding our own cultural heritage is the key in protecting our sense of identity and bringing positive changes in the country. As a Filipino youth, you can help strengthen our national identity. No contribution is small. Its greatness depends on your willingness to do something the present for the benefit of the future. Regardless of individual differences, you can be a part of a uniting world. But the essential question is, how can you make the world united despite cultural differences? Let's find out through the selection below. The title of the selection that we are about to read is The Universals, written by Dr. Cleofe M. Bakuman. Different cultures vary in their ethical manifestations. There are prohibitions about food, especially meat and styles of clothing. Status of women differs. Free enterprise and socialism have different economic values. There are the values of hiya and pakikisama, expressing the Filipino's manner of communication and behavior. These are actual modes of conduct. Subjective and situational. This attitude depends on the accepted practices and ways of behavior of a given people at a given time. But beneath such diversity, there is a clear convergence on some basic values which can truly be called universals. No culture tolerates indiscriminate lying, stealing, or violence within the group, incest, is taboo by all cultures. Health, safety, productivity, efficiency, integrity, freedom, justice, beauty, love, family, solidarity, and respect for the dignity of man are valid for all mankind at all times. Here are statements from various philosophical sources, which, while stated differently, share a common principle respect other people, and treat them fairly. Buddhism Hurt not others with that which pains you. Christianity Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. Confucianism Is there any maxim which ought to be acted upon throughout one's whole life? Surely, the maxim of loving kindness is such do not do unto others what you would not they should do unto you. 
Judaism? What is hurtful to yourself, do not do to your fellow beings. Islam, love for the people what you love for yourself, and you will be a believer. Taoism, regard your neighbor's loss as your loss. Confucius, as someone interested in politics, established five constant virtues that he believed must be used in governance. Benevolence. Always think first of what is good for the people. Propriety. Always behave with a courtesy and respect towards your subject. Wisdom. Be guided by the knowledge and understanding. Sincerity. Be sincere and thoughtful in all you do. What would people disagree with the statements above? The timelessness of ethical universals in different environments suggests that virtues such as union and righteousness are deeply embedded in man's nature and are necessary to maintain a happy life. Learning Task 1 Letter A Are you familiar with the illustrations below? Look closely and write down what you see. First picture Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 And number 5 Remember, write your answer on your paper. Exercise letter B as you study the given pictures, consider the following questions. Number one, what do the illustrations tell about our heritage? Number two, why is Philippine cultural heritage important to Filipinos? And number three, how do we preserve our cultural heritage? For learning task number two, Revisit the selection the universals and match the word on the left to the word definition on the right. Write only the letter of your answers. Here are the words. Number one, culture. Number two, diversity. Number three, principle. Number four, virtues. And number five, convergence. And here are the definition. A. The act of coordinating. Moving toward union. Letter B, society's belief and ways of life. Letter C, morally good behavior. And letter D, a basic truth that helps you know what is right and what is wrong. And letter E, the quality or state of having many different forms. For learning task number three, study the questions listed on the bingo card. Based on your understanding of the text, Answer only three questions diagonally, horizontally, or vertically. Copy your chosen questions and write your answers on your paper. Grade 7, as you can see, there are nine questions on the bingo cards. As the direction says, you will only choose three questions which can match di diagonally, horizontally, or vertically. Here are your choices. First question. What is the underlying message of the text? Next, according to the text, despite having one vision, what makes the world divided? Next, as a student, how will you encourage your friends and classmates to stand with a common principle? Next, why is it important to value other people? How can you relate the golden rule? Do not do unto others what you do not want to do unto you. To the common saying, no man is an island. Next, what can be your best contribution to make the world united as one? Next, what happens when you disobey the golden rule? Next, how does culture affect people's relationships? And last question, in your own words, define unity. I cannot say... You have to choose only three questions following the patterns in bingo. Good luck! Learning task number three, letter B. Reflect on the previous activities you have done. 
A cultural tie is something that brings two different cultures together. Below is a list of some nationalities living in our country. Fill in the table with the missing information, showing how Filipinos share their culture. Grade 7, there's no need for you to copy the questions. Just write your answer on your paper. For example, Nationality Brazilian. What cultural tie do we have with them? It is through dance. Example of evidence? Filipinos enjoy ballroom dancing. Our Philippine national dance sports team participate in competitions around the world. And everyone, I guess, loves dancing. For your activity, here are the nationalities. We have Korean, Chinese, American, Arabian, and Indian. And for your answer, just write what is being asked for you in each item. For example, in number one, what is asked from you is the cultural tie of Filipinos to the Korean culture. And then, as a given example, we have Gen Z listens, singing, dances to songs of BTS, EXO, BLACKPINK, MOMOLAND, BIG BANG, and many more. And for number two, as you can see, cultural ties already given. So all you have to do is to find evidences of our cultural ties to the Chinese and write them down in number two. For number three, as you can see, cultural tie of Filipinos to Americans is already given. That is democracy and freedom. So all you have to do is to cite evidence that proved this cultural tie with American. Next is the Arabian. So in this item, you are going to give the cultural tie. As an example, Filipinos acquire gold for financial securities or savings. So what do you think is the cultural tie we have with Arabians? For the last number is Indians. And our cultural tie with Indians is spices and food. So you are going to cite evidences of this cultural tie with the Indians. Good luck and have fun! Learning task number four. In learning and understanding cultural diversity, it is said that you must experience someone else's culture and tradition. For your final task, find someone who has traveled or worked in another country. Then, conduct an interview about his or her experience while traveling or working in that country. You can choose at least five questions from the list below. And do not forget to ask question number 7. For learning task number 4, please note that if face-to-face -face interview is not possible, you can find a way to communicate via text message, call, or chat. Or if you do not know anyone who has traveled abroad or worked abroad, you can also ask your classmate to help you with this activity. Here are the sample questions. So, you are given 10 examples of questions and you can get 5 questions. But remember, do not forget to ask question number 7. Here is the first sample question. What was the reason of your trip, tour, or employment abroad? How long have you stayed there? Number 2. What is the most significant difference between how people live there and here? What surprised you the most? Number three, what was your experience with the language barrier and your ability to communicate with others? Number four, what was the most interesting food you have tasted? What food from your home country do you miss the most? Number five, what mode of transportation did you use? Number six, how was your experience in finding and buying things you needed? Number seven, please remember that this question must be asked. What cultural norms? Example, in Japan, it is customary to bow your heads to someone. Have you noticed that other people should know before visiting that country? Number eight, did you have any issues on your trip, whether they were related to the destination or the actual travel? Number nine, 
What part of your trip did you find most enjoyable or relaxing? Number 10. Would you go back to that country? If so, what would you like to do the next time you visit? Here is how you will be graded. For the questions, the questions you are going to use should be open-ended. The facts should be accurate. And the organization of your idea should be logical. And the mechanics, example, spelling, and grammar should be correct. The highest score that you can get from this activity is 20 points. Good luck and enjoy your interview! For the assessment, write true if the statement is correct and if the statement is wrong, write the correct word on the space provided. Number 1. The values of Hiya and Pakikisama is a Filipino manner of communication and behavior. Number 2. Respecting other people and treating them fairly is a common principle shared by different religions. Number 3. Buddha established virtues to be used in governance such as benevolence, righteousness, propriety, wisdom, and sincerity. Number 4. Love and freedom are virtues naturally embedded in human that maintains a happy life. Number 5. Cultural tie is important in creating harmonious relationship with other countries. For the sources of our lesson for today, we have English Grade 7 Learner's Material from the Department of Education, Philippines, printed by PEP Corporation in 2017. We also have English Grade 7 Learner's Materials by Department of Education, Philippines, by by Pivot for a Learner's Packet printed by Pep Corporation also in 2017. Congratulations! You have successfully gone through week 7 of quarter 4. Please make sure that all the tasks given to you are complete and ready for submission. For questions, you may contact your English teachers. And lastly, do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also share this video so that others can watch and learn. Please stay tuned for week 8 of quarter 4. Just relax and take your time. Bye! See you on our next session. Happy learning!